Coach, knowing how important the to kick off the homestand is going to be for your squad, uh, five goals in that first period, it was kind of a wild one. How did you see it? Um, I saw a team that has a lot of speed and we had a, a lot of issues handling their speed, uh, I think. Um, I think we didn't manage the puck properly. Um, we were slow to make decisions uh, with the puck and uh, their speed was really good. Is that one of those situations where it's just tough because your team's playing okay to start and then you know uh, a defenseman has a puck and just ha hands it over to them, ends up in the back of your net, another instance of that. So is that one of those situations where it's like you're, you're get, finally gaining some momentum and then just brain cramps end up in the back of your net? Well, yeah, and basically uh, individual uh, mistakes cost us uh, a few goals against, for sure. Um, but again, it's their speed. Uh, Belleville has a lot of speed, and we had some issues uh, controlling the, the, that speed. One thing I asked you about a lot last year, and it seems to be now reoccurring, is just how good was Eric Comrie tonight? I mean, he obviously gave up four goals, but I mean, he made probably 10 to 15 high danger stops for your team tonight. Yeah, he's uh, he's an amazing guy. Uh, the way he works and he battles till the end, um, adds off to him. He was, uh, to me, was outstanding tonight. Is that something you know, that you could use as motivation for your team? When you have a guy who's battling for your club and keeping you in a game like that, can you point to that, to the rest of the team and say, we should all be working as hard as he has? Well, we do for sure. And uh, the bench, the boys see it. They, they, they see it. They see how hard he battles and that's uh, that's that's where his leadership is coming from, the way he works. And but it's always like that in practices and games. He's a hardworking man. He, he never gives up and never stops working. And uh, that's why he's so uh, precious to our team. You really would have had a really strong game today. You know, it wasn't necessarily you know the offense or the flair and like that, but he was you know, playing a really simple game, reading a lot of the play. For someone like that, I mean, like, how great is it to see someone make an impact, maybe not actually just with assists, but all around the ice? Yeah, he's played a good game. Uh, you're right there. Um, he kept it simple, uh, knowing his identity. He's a guy that is really good on the forecheck, has a good stick, big body, went it in that. Um, I thought I thought he played a real good game. If he plays that way, he's going to be uh, he's going to be improving a lot. What value is his skill set to you know today's NHL and the, you know the need for role players and such like that when you're developing a guy like that? Well, you know what, um, I think in order to make it to the NHL, you need to have a flavor. You need to bring something to the table and be the best at it. If if you're a guy that's going to block shot, have a good stick, and be good on the forecheck, you need to become one of the best. And and that's a skill set. He has a big body. He's still a young guy. Uh, he's learning the game in North America, but he's improving every game, so that's good to see. What happened with CJC? I know he skated this morning, but was in the lineup. Uh, you know what? He tried to skate this morning, um, lower body injury, and just couldn't make it. And that was a decision from your guys end or medical staff? Yeah, medical staff. It was Ryan White got his first of the season tonight. What's that do for a bench when a guy like Ryan uh, finally gets him on the board for his first marker of the season? Yeah, well, you know, he's... Uh, He's been uh, a solid leader for us since day one, and he, you know what to expect with Ryan. He never, just like Eric Comrie, never stops working. Um, tons of experience, and uh, when guys like him get rewarded, uh, it's good to see. One thing that probably takes a little bit of the momentum from your squad is the penalties. I mean, there were, I think, five in a row against your squad. So is there something you have to say on the bench, or is that something you just kind of wait till the next, after the game, where you say, "Listen, guys, like you gotta, you gotta rein that in," because even if they're not scoring, even if our PK is having success, we're giving up momentum. Oh, for sure. Uh, that's something we we talk about consistently: staying disciplined, well, leaving the referees alone, and staying disciplined. Um, but again, I, I think today their speed uh, got the best out of us. And last one for me is, you know, further to Austin's point about Ryan White, was there something you were seeing in that fourth line? Obviously, they scored the opening goal for you, but. You put them out on the power play, you gave them some opportunity. They obviously rewarded you, made it a one goal game at one point. So was there something you were seeing that you wanted to throw them on the power play? Well, when, when the games uh, start, everybody is equal. They all have a, a chance to prove themselves that day that they're going to help the team win a hockey game. And I thought Reichel, um, Whitey and Peterson were, were one of our best line. They, they were generating chances. They were solid defensively. They were playing physical. Um, so. Uh, as a coach, when you see that, you want to put those guys on the ice because on that day, uh, they're one of your best lines. So 
they deserved uh, all the ice time they got today.